everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Attic Creations. Today I decided to work on some school layouts for my daughter Elizabeth. I was going to start with her preschool, but her preschool is kind of a lot. And I was like, oh, I just would rather start with something a little simpler. So I am jumping into kindergarten. And instead of using a school paper, I'm going to use mix-ins and Noteworthy, which means I need to buy some more because I am really liking this combo. So let me show you what I've got after I put my circles away. Okay, so the stuff I have up top here is just so that I can say which ones I'm using. So I'm using the mix-ins for March, April. It's the X9026. And I'm using mix-ins from May, June. And this is X9028. So these, I believe, are both retired. One of them might be on, like, the, the list and then noteworthy, I'm using this grid paper here. Um, I'm not the yellowy side, it's kind of the vanilla side. It's actually more shortbread, I think. Um, I'm using the white daisy tie. Ugh, that was a tongue twister. Okay, other things that I did, I decided I was gonna go with craft. I tried a few different papers. I was gonna mat, double mat, triple mat. I just decided I really like the craft and it's simple and it's something I can go through on all of my kids' books. I do have some chalkboard paper that's coming my way soon and I think I'm going to start using that here and there as well on um, more of the pockets, I think, because I am going to have to do some pockets. See here, I've got these little bits for Lizzie's kindergarten as well as a graduation certificate and I'm not sure exactly how I'm doing that so it'll probably end up being a four page layout not just the two pages. I did download these little bits from um, Miss Kate's Cuttables and I actually used all three of the background layers on this one and I'm really liking it. They also have a bunch of other bits that I... Sorry, I had opted not to use a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I printed, I got all this. I also have the preschool one um, ready to go. But there is a, like lined paper. Here it is assembled. There's a bunch of arrows. Um, I cut it out for all of the girls. And then there's these little notebooks. And you kind of put like the lined paper. Let me see here, where did that lined paper go? Okay. And grab that the lined paper kind of goes like that and then the notebooks go over here just one of them and then arrows and it's cute it's absolutely adorable I love the cut files they're only 50 cents a piece and you get preschool and kindergarten together which is phenomenal there's also a little tiny pencil let me see if I can find it in here because it is cute too it's just really tiny and so I opted to not use it and I am not seeing it because I kind of just tossed everything in this bucket. Um, but as you can see with this little black piece right here, um, here's a little yellow piece. What's this one? Yeah, I can't find it. Um, this is kind of what the pencil looks like, of course, with a little more bits on it. Um, it's, so it's really cute. It's just, it is really tiny. This is all of Lizzie's, well, aside from this one, all of her preschool for three-year-old preschool. And then this is the diploma for the four-year-old preschool. I don't, isn't that hilarious? I did this little, little bit here. And I've just got a lot of stuff. And so I really need to think about that before I go there, mainly because of the fact that I have like one small picture for pumpkin patch, one small picture for Halloween, one small picture for Valentine's Day, and one tiny picture on this layout seems just like it's not enough. And I, I need to decide, do I want to do some strips? Do I want to, how do I want to do that? And I haven't figured that out yet. So it's going to take me a, a smidge longer. But I did find this on um, Cricut. Um, design space. Whoa, couldn't remember that one for a second there. And so I have it on the cut file that will be below. Um, this is one of the little notebooks like I showed you earlier. This is another one. I really like this notebook. This little piece is so funny. 
It's just this little ruffly piece. Um, and I decided I wanted to put a little flower on it. The flower came from an ABC that I was going to use because on her little dress, she has a B. And then, of course, there was a C button that you can't see. And so I thought, OK, well, that's cool. I want to use that. Um, I didn't really care for it when I was messing around. So we'll see, you know, if I pull that back out. I actually think I put it in the recycle bin. Um, I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere. So I have this picture. It's a five by seven. I cut it down a little bit. So this outline is um, five by seven. Okay. Her um, class picture. I know I'm looking at this as well as looking at a side. So I was not paying attention well enough. She cut her, her picture out herself. Um, she also poked holes in everybody she wanted to give Valentine's to or as she was giving them Valentine's. Oh, yeah, she she's a she's hilarious. She was a little older. Her birthday um, falls just after the, the cutoff date. So she started kinder or yeah, kindergarten as a six year old or just almost six at the time. So she was older. So she knew how to write names, write the letters and stuff. She knew a lot more than, you know, like a younger kindergarten. And so <laughs> it was kind of funny, but yeah, she trashed it. So what I did was I kind of pushed things back together. I couldn't fix her picture. We still do. She's not been able to tell us why she took hers off. Um, and then I scanned it in and I reprinted this at five by seven. And then I just trimmed it and I matted it because, let me grab her other one. Here it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know I, I stuck her picture there because I was like, oh, I'll just put it here. I didn't care for it sitting like this. And so I now have it scanned in. Um, like You can see like all the areas that I had to tape. <laughs> it's on the back. Yeah. And then I wrote about what she had done. Um, so having this all scanned in, I don't have to worry about this piece. And I'll ask her if she wants me to keep it or not. But having this, I was able to print it. You can still read all of the names. It's sizable to what I want to do. Um, so that's why I did this. I don't know if this is an option for other people. I don't know if this is an option for all of the ones I'm going to do. But I'm really, really enticed by this and think it's a great idea for my layouts. And I like the fact that it's going to fit horizontally and I don't have to put it vertically. And so you're not turning your head to read the names or whatnot. So the only thing I didn't do is cut out or print out another picture for her right here. Um, originally, like I, I have here, I was going to put her little school picture there on the side. Um, now I've just said, uh, maybe later I'll, I'll think about it. So, um, it's just more of an afterthought, I guess I should say. Okay. So those are the pictures I'm going to use only two. I have a bunch of little stars. They are on the cut file as well. And then let's go over the other sizes. These are just the bits. I think those are all the bits. So I have this, um, graph paper, which I love a good graph paper. It's just really cute. I cut some chipboard with my trimmer and it's kind of giving me some fluffies. So these are, I believe, two by two by six. I have two of those. And then I have another piece of the graph paper that is five uh, by nine. Okay. And then we've got some sapphire paper here. This is one and a half. I want to say by eight, but it's one and a half by seven and a half. There's two of those. This one right here is six by eight and a half, which I think this is six by eight and a half as well. Yep. So two of these at six by eight and a half. I have this banner, so it's two inches and it's by about eight and a fourth, eight and a half to eight and a fourth, um, depending on what size, you know, I'll trim it. This paper is from the, one of the other I mean, it's one that I, I'm listed. It was just, I'm not exactly sure which one. So let me grab these again. Um, this one right here is the 9028, this blue. Um, it's more of a, like the bluebell type colors. And then this one right here is Sundance. 
and it is from the 9026. Sorry, I, I tried to keep those in line. So this one is two by eight and a half, and this stamp is a die cut, and it is six by six, I believe. Yeah, pretty close to six by six. I didn't like size it um, down individually. I just kind of moved the mouse around to size that. But I, I liked the idea of having kind of this stamped image. So let's see, I've got that. I've got these. This is kind of where I was, was going with this layout. So let's see if I can recreate what I was thinking. So on this page, I wanted to put this picture and this picture over here. And I wanted kindergarten probably over here just because I really like it. I really like it. Um, so let's adhere these. Let me grab my ruler. Okay. And then I'm going to start by putting the graph paper down because that is at the ends and I might not need the ruler for that bit. I'm just going to kind of eyeball center it. These hopefully will go together pretty quick. I was, I was pretty happy with um, the placement that I was playing with. I will add that there. I have a bunch of stuff I have to, of course, do tonight before my procedure tomorrow. Just a reminder, I will be, I will definitely be off for two to four days. Um, it might be until I go back to the doctor. All I'm having is deviated septum surgery, but um, I don't know if my voice will sound funny, and I'm not trying to say that I am going to be um, concerned with that, but I don't know if my voice sounds really nasally if I can, <laughs> I can get on the video. So we'll see if I can do it. Um, but I do go back the following Tuesday for the remainder of my, my, um, doctor procedures and stuff. So, okay. So this was my intent when I was looking at stuff. I just, I don't know why I liked the buildup of this layout right here. I love the backside of this paper too. It was really cute. I got, I think, two packages of this. So I should have enough that if I'm going to do both kids, other kids layouts, the same, I can do it. And then weirdly enough, I really do like this. And it's a stripe on a stripe, which is not something I'm usually doing. I mean, that's kind of cool too, but I just liked the wavy, I know, the wavy stripe. Or I should say, here, let me take these the wavy stripe. So I'm just gonna place this. Let's see, I'll put it up a little higher. There we go. Looks like I have to trim this end a little bit. And then I, this little guy. So you only see a little tiny bit of this wavy, wavy bit, but I thought it looked kind of cool. And I like the color on it. So I'm just gonna put this down and then we'll see what we think of it because when I'm laying stuff of course it is always just like oh this kind of looks nice but if I move anything it like all moves uh the kindergarten I just kind of was thinking here but I don't know I mean I could always do it up here too which is nice so let's think about that while I assemble this side Put all these little embellishments up there. Okay, so this side, how was I thinking this one? So this should go around the same, and then that one, oh, this one, like that. That was kind of my thought on this, and then like that just kind of overlapping. And then I thought Lizzie's picture looked kind of cool right there. That was, that was my whole thought process on this one. So let's see if I can recreate what I just laid out. 
And that one started at two and three quarters. So I'm going to put that there. And let's work with these two at the same time. I'll move that down a smidge. Make sure I'm getting this even. Uh-oh. He's attaching himself. Mm, maybe a little more down. Okay. And before the oh, no. I want to make sure that that stripe, the wavy stripe, goes the right way. Ooh, I kind of like that with it showing even more. At one point, I had cut out a tag for over here too, and I ended up not liking it, but I am liking that. So let's see how much of this flagged piece I'm going to leave on here and I will trim that after while I'm showing it probably so there's that oh I kind of like that with a little overhang down here too this looks crooked don't you wish you could just like touch a button and it'll tell me oh that's crooked I really wish you it did <laughs> But that's just me. Crooked, crooked, crooked me. Let's see if I can fix this without too much pain. Move those little guys. They should be big enough that I don't have to worry about them. I'm just kind of... Yeah. Ooh. Even like that better. I really like this paper. I love both of these papers and it's so awesome that they're from different mix-ins and that I'm able to use them. There we go. I also like that that was very easy to fix. The other one I could do would be over here. Not loving that. Not. I don't know why I'm... Hmm. Okay, well, let me think on that one, too. These little notebooks I had thought here. And then I've got this little flower that I thought would look cute on the little notebook. And then we've got this little pencil that could go maybe up here with a little star. And then some stars over here. I didn't want to do too much. Ooh, I kind of like that. I could also do the yellow. But if I did the yellow, let me take this little pop tape off. We could do that. That's kind of cool. Do one of the... The green I'm using is avocado. Um, the red, of course, is candy apple. This is bluebird. Um, Sundance. 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 Uh, sapphire. And then these are all the same colors. Okay, so that's kind of where I was thinking. Let me look at that in the camera. I really like it. I love these little notebooks. I <laughs> love those notebooks. And I don't know if it's going to be a thing that I use on all of them. But if I do, I could always change up, like for kindergarten, you know, they've got the star and the flower, which I do like that. Let me look at the green one, though, before I No, I like the yellow on it. Sundance. Um, I could always change up the little bits on it to kind of go more with the school year. Okay. 
I like that. And they're not too hard to put together. It is three cuts for this because you've got the, which you barely see it. You have the darker side, the lighter side on both of them. And then I use pewter right here for the spiral binding. So you got to have a really cute spiral binding when you're doing a notebook. I really like that pencil. I like that a lot better than that smaller pencil I was looking at doing. Oh, I better lift that up a little bit. Okay. Liking that. I like that a little bit straighter. And I think I want to do some pen work. Let me grab out my white pen so I don't forget. And let's put these little stars up here. It's sticking to me. I do like the fact that with this backing on here, even though it was three layers, which I'm surprisingly enjoying, um, it's able to be popped without any any drama, rather than having to like cut the word kindergarten three or four times just to kind of give it the height. This one's just giving me the height, which I really do like. But now that I am thinking about it more about this picture, I think I will print out one of those little bitties for her. So let me grab, here's a little scrap piece of paper. Okay. I think I wanna do some line work. Oh, I like that. Okay. I'll have to go back and fix that little area. Oh, I like that. That looks cool. I think this will just go this way. Oh. I wish I hadn't done that there, but It'll be okay. I really like the dots on these letters too. Might not like the dots on the little lines on the star. Let me look at that. Nah, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, slowly pull that off and flip that star over. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll just See if I can put some dots on it, or maybe I'll just do a line. Yeah, I'll just do a little line on those, and then I'll do a little circular thing there. I don't know, something's telling me I want to put some blue on here, but I'm going to fight it. I do like the white, though. I really like that white. I really don't like this on the stars. So I will be changing out that star. The green one I like. The red one, eh, 
It's okay. It's funny, it's got a little bit of adhesive right there. You can see it in the camera, but you can't see it in person. It's probably just the angle. All right. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it because I think I'm going to change out that star. Let me trim this. A uh, little, little extra trim in there. And there we have it. I really like it. I like the little pen work on there. And I'll trim this one later. There we go. Isn't that kindergarten adorable? I'm really happy with this layout. I think it turned out fantastic. And I hope her other ones will turn out just as good but this is a little kindergarten one so i will talk to you guys in about a week if not sooner thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today i really appreciate it please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos leave a comment i always appreciate those and i try to get back as soon as possible on those and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.